Okay, this is the video for Geometry Honors for Tuesday, April 28th. And the topic is the equation of a circle, day two. Which points lie on the circle whose equation is given over here? Well, very simply, this is not a multiple choice. There could be more than one. As long as the coordinates fit in here, and the equation works, it's the points satisfy the equation, then that point is on the circle. So if we plug in this and said, okay, two minus two squared plus nine minus four squared, does that equal 25? Well, zero squared plus five squared equals 25. 25 equals 25, check. So therefore, A does. And as you recall from yesterday's work, the center of this circle would be 2, 4, and the radius would be 5, okay? Uh, negative 3, 4. So if we did negative 3 minus 2 squared plus 4 minus 4 squared, does that equal 25? Negative 5 squared is 25 plus 0 squared is 0. 25 plus 0 is 25. 25 equals 25 check. So therefore, B does as well. C. Does 7 minus 2 squared plus 3 minus 4 squared equal 25? 25 plus 1 is 26. 26 does not equal 25. No. And negative 2 minus 2 squared plus 7 minus 4 squared, does that equal 25? Negative 4 squared is 16, plus 3 squared is 9. 16 minus 9 is 25. 25 equals 25. Check. So this one works as well. Okay. Um, if we were graphing them, we would go to the center, it would be at 2, 4, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, 4. And then we would go up, down, up five, down five, left five, right five. One, two, three, four, 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 five. Okay. Um, I'll just make a sketch right now. So, and that is our sketch of a circle. Explain how you know uh, if the points satisfy the equation of the circle, then they lie in the circle. If the points, let's say they work in the equation of the circle, then they lie on the circle. Okay, so that was the do now. Then, now here's the real gist of the lesson over here. Uh, well, first I'll say, sometimes the equation of a circle will not be written the way we want it like this. It will not be given to us like this, where the center and radius is there for us to read immediately. And it will be in the general form. The general form is just ax squared plus by squared plus cx plus dy plus e equals zero. Okay? Um, so we're going to take that and they're going to give it to us, and we're going to have to try to change it from that to get it to be like this from yesterday. So we can get the uh, center and radius very easily. So here's how it goes. What we're going to, have to do is we're going to have to complete the square to form perfect square trinomials. Now, completing the square, we, we take the b value, 
and we half it, square it, and share it. Half it, square it, and, oh, sorry, half it, square it, and share it. Okay, so half it, square it, share it. So now watch. We have x squared plus 4x plus y squared minus 6y equals 12. These spaces are intentional, okay? We take the b value, half of b, half of 4 is 2, and 2 squared is 4. So we're doing b over 2 squared. So half of 4 is 2, 2 squared is 4. If we add 4 to the left side of the equation, we have to add 4 to the right side of the equation, because whatever you do to one side of the equation, you must do to the other. Half of negative 6 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is positive 9. If you add 9 to the left side of the equation, you have to add 9 to the right side of the equation. Now, so this part over here, 12 plus 4 is 16, plus 9 is 25, okay? Now, when we complete the square, as we just did, when you factor it, the factors are going to be the same because we just made this into what's called a perfect square trinomial. So when we factor it, you end up with x plus 2 times x plus 2, and this one is y minus 3 times y minus 3. That's going to be the last time I write it out like that, because from now on I'm going to go right to writing it like this, x plus 2 squared plus y minus 3 squared equals 25. So now, that's a circle. I know the center is the opposites of these, so negative 2, 3. And the radius is the square root of 25, which is 5. So when I want to find out what the factors are here, it's always half the b value. Half of 4 is 2. It's x plus 2 squared. Half of negative 6 is negative 3. It's y minus 3 squared. And then this now is written just like we did yesterday. And here, now we can get the answer. We are going to do one more so that you can do the homework, which is going to be to complete the back one of this. So there are six on the back. Okay, so here we'll do one more. x squared minus 10x. I leave a, a space plus y squared plus 6y equals 2. I add I plus 2 plus 2 and I end up with 2 over there. Okay? Half of negative 10 is negative 5. Negative 5 squared is positive 25. If I add 25 to the left side of the equation, I have to add 25 to the right side of the equation. Half of 6 is 3. 3 squared is 9. If I add 9 to the left side, I have to add 9 to the right side. Now, half of negative 10 is negative 5, so it ends up being x minus 5 squared. Half of 6 is 3. y plus 3 squared equals 36. So now, I know the center is the opposite of these. The center is 5, negative 3, and the radius is a square root of 36, which is 6. And you know what? I'm going to do one more so you have 5 for homework instead of 6. Okay, so which one do I want to do? Which one looks the hardest to me? None of them look that hard. But um, I'm going to choose number 5, just because. Okay, so x squared plus 8x plus y squared plus 18y is equal to negative 96. Half of 8 is 4. 4 squared is 16. If I add 16 to the left side of the equation, I have to add 16 to the right side. 
half of 18 is 9, 9 squared is 81. If I have 81 to the left side, I have to add 81 to the right side. This becomes x plus 4 squared plus y plus 9 squared is equal to 1. So now we know what it is. It's a circle with a center at, oh, there's a little spot for it, negative 4, negative 9, and the square root of 1 is 1. The radius is 1. Okay, people, hope you're all good. Your homework is to do numbers 1 through 6. I did do number 5, but your homework is numbers 1 through 6 on this sheet. Hope all's well. See you on tomorrow in, in our Zoom. Okay, and remember, you can always zoom, you can always pause these videos and look at them again or whatever. Okay, hope all's well. Talk to you later. Bye.